with my uncle again. Yeah. So yeah. we're gonna do our top five action movies of all time. And uh, so yeah, and before we start, I'm gonna do an announcement about next week. Next week, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a video because I'm going to go on a holiday for two weeks. He's going to um, Footscray for two weeks. <laughs> Footscray, right. no, we're He's not. He's booked a really nice, nice caravan park. Okay, it's tops. Five yeah. star, five star. We're yeah. going, we're going somewhere in Hamilton Island for a week, and then we're going Gold Coast for another week. Yeah, that's it, Footscray, and then you're to St Albans after that, right after. Stop saying things about Footscray. He cares about Footscray. Footscray's good, mate. What's what? Anyway, anyway. Yeah, okay, sorry. Right, let's get that. started. So we don't have honourable mentions because. Um, these are the action films we love watching, and it's what we watch every single day. But it doesn't mean I hate other action films that I like. <laughs> so, let's get started with number five. Coming in number five with me is one of the coolest, like, one of the best stunts I've ever seen in my life. It goes to the Matrix. Matrix, Kenal Reeves' is best role. I love this movie. This movie is, has a ton of cool action. A girl in the movie kicks ass. And and I've got a question for Peter. Would you take a red pill or a blue pill? Depends. But actually, on the Matrix, those pills were M&M's. You know, the chocolate M&M's with the peanuts in It looks like M&M's. They were chocolate M&M's. I would take, I reckon if I had to take, I would take the green pill. There's no such thing. No, a red pill or green. Anyway. Okay, Peter, what's your number five? All right. My number five is... Drum roll. Okay, number five is Die Hard. Bruce Willis kicks ass. He's kicking on now his age, but he's yes, still, still kicks ass at Bruce Willis. Yes, the first Die Hard was good. The second one, yeah, it was alright. The second yeah. one, the first one was, Look at that. was, so, first one was you know, awesome. Was you know how, good, how good he was? He had a broken glass on the floor, and he and he still walked through. Only, it, only Die Hard one to four mm. is good, but not a good day to Die Hard. That's really cool. Yeah, that was oh, yeah, true, true. Number one was the best one. It doesn't feel like John McClane in number no, five. That's right, that's right. Number one was the best one. He was good. Wrong place, wrong time. Shit happened, but he took it. He cleaned it. He did the job. All right. And he did it halfway through the film with no shoes. That was pretty good. It was barefoot, remember? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah barefoot. I know. Why can't he take that guy's boots? Why can't he take that guy's boots? Anyway. Okay. All right, now let's go to our number four. Coming in number four for me, I'm going to give him a very awesome clue. It's where Arnold Schwarzenegger, and this is how it goes. <laughs> Get to the chopper! Yep, it's Predator. Predator is really insane. Like, Arnold Schwarzenegger's best role, other than Terminator, he's just... Freaking awesome! It's it's kind of a sci-fi film, but I take it as an action because I was Schwarzenegger. He's a man. He's a king of action. He's good. <laughs> I call him a king of hey, action. How do you do it again, uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger? <laughs> I'll be back. I just go get some KFC, but I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Peter. What Nothing is your spicy. number four? All right, number four, people. You should know it. It's a classic. It's a good one. And there's about three of them on, on the market at the moment. Matrix. Again. My Matrix. number five was the Matrix. Matrix, mate. That that bit when he had that jacket and he's in the subway and he's kicking some ass and he's like walking on those, you know, those uh, Italian tiles on the wall and stuff, mate. He kicked ass. He looked good. Yeah, I know. Good, good, good film. Very All good right. Film. Now let's go to our number three. Coming to number three. Um, I know who you are. I don't know what you want. If Liam Neeson can kick ass in this movie, that'll be the end of it. Yes, taken. You know, I, do, I do the same thing when I order a pizza. I go, I go, you don't know who I am, but I know what I want. I want a cappuccosa. Cappuccosa with extra olives. Yes. If I don't get my olives, yeah, taken. I'm a man of many talents. Right? <laughs> yes, Taken is one of Liam Neeson's best films. I actually love this movie. Especially when you, the foam scene is one of the best scenes I've ever seen in... Liam Neeson films because Liam Neeson is a really good actor, mm. but some of his movies are crap. But but the Taken what? is probably one of his best. I prefer if you're a Liam Neeson fan and you haven't seen Taken, you have to watch this movie. It's freaking good. Peter, what's your number three? I just look at my trusty list. Okay, number three is Lethal now, Weapon. Yeah, you know, he's uh, um, he's been off and on and doing some films, but one of his Probably better films was Lethal Weapon. No, so was Braveheart. That's Braveheart what was good. Danny Grover is. is Danny Grover right? was in it too. Yeah, I mean Braveheart was a good film he that he did, an excellent film. They made a lot but, of movies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But is now, there, now how he's. How many films of Lethal Weapons are there? Uh, there is I think three. Four. No, I think, three. No, there's four. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure there's four of it or five. Uh, comment below by how many. Lethal should Weapon bring him movies. up. Should bring him up. Mel Gibson come down to Melton and say, "Do Mel number Gibson. six and you know." 
come and help That's me. That's awesome. Yeah, I, I like Lethal Anyway, Weapon. Lethal Weapon, very good film, action-packed, good storyline, you know? All right, now let's go to our number two. All right, coming in number two, we've both had to say this because this is our same number two. It's Arnold Schwarzenegger's best films yet. <gasps> Terminator 2, Judgment Day. That's Peter's number two as well. I'll be back. Yes, Terminator... And, and he did come back. Yeah. Terminator 2, yes. One of the best films. Uh, we can talk about it because that's our same list. I love the T-1000. I love the... Young John Connor. A lot of people said he's very annoying. But he is one of my favorite kids in films of all time. He's very emotional. And <laughs> especially when he's like, I don't like you crying. <laughs> but that's the thing I can't do. That's right. Terminator 2. Yeah, good Terminator film. 2. Good effects. Film. Good action films. Very, very good And effects. the best part about this film is very the bike effects. chase with John Connor. Yeah, and two right. Terminator right. just coming in. Going like, yeah, he just comes in, with jumps a bike. it, does it, grabs him, it's saves him, does badass. a job. And then they get pizza at the end, I think. I'm pretty sure they were like Capuchosa. Extra anchovies once again. So it's not you can't true. go wrong. Not true. No, it is true. I think it's true. Well, it couldn't be Macarita. Can't be Macarita. <laughs> you foster parents are dead. <laughs> Quick, let's go get pizza. Yeah. I'm craving for All pizza. All right, now let's go to our number one. Coming at number one is one of my favorite action films. And one of my favorite films of all time. You guys know what it is. It is Mad Max The Road Warrior. Mel Gibson's best performance. I love the Mad Max movies, not the third one. The first one's good. The second one is probably the best out of them all. And Fury Road's probably the best movie this year so far. But the third Mad Max is Shiza. I said Shiza instead of shit. Uh, yes, Mad Max Road Warrior. Mel Gibson. You don't, you don't look happy about that. Uh, yeah, he... He's the big fan of the first one, I think. Yeah. But Number the second one. one I don't, have you seen the second one? The second one's good, right? I love the second but, one. But, look, the third one was okay. It was a, it was good because Tina Turner was in it, right? I don't like the first and one. And she did that song, Fun Day, right? But one and two was good. Three was average. and The fourth one, four, he hasn't seen yet. How do you see it? It's one of the best oh, films this no, year. I've got to get it. So it's apparently in JB Hi-Fi now as we speak. Yep. Blu-ray is coming close to me. You movie. have to get that movie on Blu-ray. I haven't mm -hmm. got it yet, but I reckon okay. it will be good on Blu-ray. Right. Hang on, Mad Max Robot is so cool. Mm -hmm. Lord of mm -hmm. Mungus is so awesome. Mm -hmm. And that is my number one. Now, Peter, what's your number one? My number one. And I'm pretty sure there'll be people out there that would totally agree. If you're a Matt Damon fan, That's fan right. you have to. That's right. That's you right. know what it is. Born Trilogy. Born Trilogy, that is a yes. Good film. Matt Damon. Good yeah. effects. Oh, I mean, look, the just, just the story. The whole story is good. I didn't like the Born Legacy with Jeremy Renner. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was all nice. Nah, it's the, not that good, but the Matt Damon ones are the best no, ones. Yeah, the number one was really good. The story one was excellent. Yeah, he number one was amnesia. fantastic. He was in the, in the ocean. They found him. They grabbed him. They saved him. They put him on the land. He's trying to find his past. Then he goes and finds some information. Finds this hot chick on the way. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I mean, and the mini, to, and the mini Cooper's case. That's what I oh, mini. Yeah, the mini. That's fucking pretty good too. That's kind of yeah. weird though. That was good. Nah, but I reckon that's that, you know that film is just action packed all the way through. Yes, yeah, non-stop. There's no awesome, yeah. no stuff ups or craps in the middle. Excuse me, language and stuff. It's all right. It's just action packed all the way, and it's a good storyline. Very very good storyline. So that's your number one. That's my number one. All right, guys. So that's our top five action films. What are yours? And um, I'll see how it goes for next weekend, the week after, because. I probably might do a video, I might do a vlog or whatever I'm doing, but if I'm not doing it there in two weeks, you know what I'm talking about. So make sure to subscribe my movies and everything, and have a nice day. Capuchosa. <laughs>